Have y'all heard about these new braids? These firecracker braids? Well, as far as the parts. Anyways, we finna do them today. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. I am so glad to have you here. The first thing that I am doing is I'm just going to be parting her hair into these zigzag motions. What I did notice is that it would be easier to actually section the hair into four and then go in with the zigzag parts. But I was actually under the impression that the mannequin had four straight and neat sections i was wrong so don't be like me learn from me and go ahead and just part your part the hair into four with this style you can do multiple parts i just decided to do four because of the inspiration that i saw on facebook and i'm going to plop that up on the screen so you guys know where i'm going and like what i'm getting at i'm just creating these triangular parts or you can just say zigzag part another thing that i did learn after doing this don't think too hard about it i thought too hard i actually had a good thing going but then i thought too hard and then i basically messed it up but hey at the end we eventually got it and that's what i want to be here for with you i want you to know that hey girl you got this okay whether you are doing this on somebody or you are doing this on yourself you got this all right to each their own on how you decide you want to do this but ultimately it'll get done also too do not overthink this you guys remember that we are going to have to come back and fix up these parts anyways because we are creating along four lines you have the line i'm currently working on the two on the side and then the one at the bottom another thing that could have made this easier as well was go all the way down even if you don't part the four sections or you just part down the middle go all the way down and then part from the sides and then go all the way down from there this was my first time doing this and i really was just trying to get it done it, i actually like the way that they did turn out here is our rough draft but trust me that is not going to be the end i'm going to do that same thing but now i'm going to do it on the side again going from earlier it'll probably be easier if you part the hair down the middle do the zigzags all the way down and then part from ear to ear do the zigzags all the way down the mannequin was a little bit more tricky but i kind of figured which is why i wanted to work on this specific mannequin head because i wanted to get that practice in her part was off so it was throwing me off because i was i thought i was getting it and then i would look and be like wait a minute that's less hair than this one that is really uneven and one thing about me I, I i do like to be perfect i am a perfectionist i know we can never get perfect but the goal is like to be perfect just to aim for perfection here i i just sliced it down the middle and that's what i mean just go ahead and slice it all down the middle and then the, do the zigzags there i didn't really see many tutorials on this video so i'm just winging it with the best of my knowledge and the best of my ability honestly and here's what we are getting don't think too hard about it detangle the hair everything like that i do have a video that will be coming out soon on how i wash and detangle my mannequin's hair just in case you do have mannequins but again whether you are doing this on somebody's hair or whether you are doing this on your hair it's it's the same thing just a little bit more time if it's on your hair the middle part was actually giving me a lot of trouble which y'all see here now i'm trying to go back and do the zigzags for the top portion because that middle part was throwing me off i thank god that i finally got it so as y'all see when i do go and make the triangular parts i am using the end of my comb and that's mainly because the rat tail comb that i have the the what do you call that part the piece at like the piece at the front the actual comb part it's not sharp enough for me but if you have a sharper comb a pointier comb part i would just recommend using that and that's what i was going to use but hey i didn't really feel like going to get another comb because this still got that job done i must admit i do make it look a little bit complicated you eventually get it and honestly parting is the hardest part which is why this part seems like it's so long once you get the part down though everything just flows so smoothly so smoothly so here y'all are gonna see me kind of have to go over it again or i'm gonna have to go over this part again but here y'all can see me just kind of doing it and as you if y'all can see that 
there is less hair in the front than there is in the back and i kept saying why is that how do i make it so where it's even and that's where that parting would come into place i eventually just said you know what we're just gonna trust god we're just gonna do it i am not gonna think too hard about it we're just going to do it after i did this section everything literally started to flow smoother and it was actually kind of crazy so now i'm finally doing this bottom section and again going in and out you're taking that comb at an angle whether you're using the comb part or the rat tail part you comb that out and then you do that again to the other side to get that triangular look i think i did have to redo this one practice makes perfect like i said this is literally my first time doing this so it's not going to be the most effective way of doing it because i don't know the most effective way of doing it just yet i'm really just winging it do what you need to do if you have to redo that section or if you have to take it out or if you have to whatever you have to do do it here's that piece that i was having like a little bit of trouble on if y'all saw my inspiration picture it kind of went down and i didn't want that i wanted zigzags all around we eventually got the rough draft and here is the rough draft here is what it is looking like so now i am going to go in with my shining jam now i must admit i would definitely recommend that you find a stronger holding gel the only reason i'm using the shining jam is because it was around the house i personally don't like it on my hair because it'll like work for a second and then after that second the hair starts to curl up which y'all are going to see that on the mannequin towards the end because i did leave her for like two hours before i actually put the braids in y'all i was i didn't do all this in one setting but don't tell nobody okay so y'all it looks like it's gonna last and it looked like it's gonna do good and it did when i got the rubber bands on there but after a while it just kind of gave up on me but you're just gonna put that gel on there put it everywhere okay because the thing about it is you want it as neat as possible so you are going to put that gel everywhere okay now if you don't want the gel you don't have to do the gel the only reason the gel is a part of this the parts is what makes this style with that being the case hey we want to see neat part if you're doing this on thicker hair you're going to need a thicker gel and if you're doing this on thinner hair, you're going to need a thinner gel. And then comb that gel all the way through. So once I feel like I combed the gel all the way through, I am finally going to go in with the rubber band. These rubber bands actually came from like the weave, you know, when you get them in the back and they give you, yeah, that's where these came from. So you're going to go in and you're going to make that as tight as possible. So you're just going to gel that down and you're going to comb it through. Again, practice make perfect. The video is sped up as well. So take your time when doing this, especially this part because the bigger the section the harder it is to actually put it in a ponytail so that's all you're doing here. you can do as many of these as you want to you can even get up to six you can get up to as many as you want just remember the more you do the more complicated that it does become so this is why i stuck with doing what we do now all you have to do is just part ahead of time if you know you're going to do six make sure you make six even boxes and then go in with the zigzags okay so now i'm just going to put the rubber band on this one again Again, and I'm basically going to do that to the other two at the front as well making sure that they're as tight as I can get them while keeping them as neat as I possibly can get them and if you notice a section out of place add some gel here is those two done and like I said I'm just going to be doing that same process with the two at the top with the two sections at the top i noticed that they were not detangled prior to doing this so make sure when you do the when you do this now that you are working with hair that is already detangled uh, unless you're going to be detangling while trying to put the gel on i did have to detangle the sections at the top and it took a minute but hey it was really okay so with this gel you do have to work pretty quickly which is why i'm saying make sure you detangle ahead of time because it is a conditioning gel not only is it going to give you a, a bit of a hold it's also going to condition the hair which means it's going to make the hair curl back up it's not just going to have the hair stay laying down her hair is more on the wavier side which is why it looks like it's staying down because it is for the most part it, it does curl up just a little bit not anywhere where you can tell it but my mom could tell here i'm just putting the rubber band on this one again again making it as tight as i can just splitting it into two and then pulling each side making sure not to mess up the parting that i already have and then again we are going to do that same thing with this one as you can see the firecrackers are cracking y'all 
here I am detangling this one, but I'm doing it before I start because I did realize that, hey, I had to detangle the other one while the gel was in the hair, but you kind of have to work with the gel and not against it. After I fully detangled it out, I detangled with a rat comb because her hair was actually conditioned. And also with mannequins, it's a little bit more easier because their hair is on the looser side. It's easier to detangle with a rat tail comb. Now, would I recommend it? No, if you have like a bigger comb or if you have a wide tooth comb, I would recommend that the mannequin took it pretty well she had some shedding but she took it pretty well after i did the detangle without the gel i'm going to do the detangle with the gel work quick but make sure that it's also in there and this one this one was actually giving me a run for my time when i would comb one section the other section would become loose and i was just like girl we need to pick a side what side do you want to be on you need to pick one i don't care which one but you need to pick one eventually she picked it she picked the side so it's all right don't forget to go into those middle sections with that gel as well to keep that tightness going y'all can actually see the bottom one actually fuzzing up i did have to redo it which is also why it fuzzed up as well but you could choose to blow dry the hair and flat iron the hair just to get the sleekest look possible but honestly as long as you can see the parts i really think it's fine especially that piece is going to be one of the harder pieces if y'all know what piece i'm talking about it's literally that piece that connects every single single one of them to give it that zigzag look as y'all can see at the top i did kind of give up a little bit but hey if you see those flyaways and the hair is coming up just go get some gel and just go and slick it down and if you didn't know the top of mannequin's hair is more thicker or more thick than normal so here we have the completed parts and the completed ponytails i know y'all see a hair sticking out don't worry i got a little lazy but i fixed it i don't even know if y'all saw that piece of hair now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and separate the hair get that all separated and separated for you guys for so after separating the hair it is officially time to put it into the mannequin's hair i am not sure what color hair this is it is definitely a blend of something because it actually is leftover client hair so each one is going to have two braids so there will be a total of eight knotless braids i had to go back over four of them and pull some hair out i the two that i did before i was like all right i gotta go back over the four i noticed i like that length better i didn't really like the bulky look i kind of like the more natural thick look but of course do this to your preference add the hair that you need to add or don't add the hair that you don't need to add when you're separating these pieces keep in mind the amount that you want to add in as you're doing this don't make them too tiny but also don't make them too big the tinier they are the more time you would have wasted and the more pieces you have to add together the bigger they are the more uneven it'll look so just keep that in mind when you're separating separating the hair to try to get it to look as even as possible we also will be curling the ends so i'm not going to be braiding all the way down even though it looks like i am but this hair actually does unravel pretty easily so that's why we try to braid a little bit further than what's needed also don't be scared to mess up sometimes you're gonna mess up like i messed up here i had to take the braid down and redo it because i did mess up but ultimately again practice makes perfect add the hair in it when you're ready to i did not add the hair in automatically because the mannequin did already does already have thick hair don't be scared to take hairs out and make sure that you are always double checking with the braid that is definitely next to it because the goal is to have these be pretty much the same same size which is why i had to go and take hair out and again i'm just going to braid mostly down because it is going to ravel unravel a little bit and it did i had to go and rebraid a little bit more So what I do is I am going to take the ends of my comb and I'm going to split that hair in the middle. And I'm going to just kind of pin the other section up to kind of get it out the way. Then I'm going to go in with the shining jam again on the parts and I'm going to detangle that into the hair. And I'm going to start braiding. And I braid it down about two or three times before I added in my pieces of hair. I don't want it to be too big, but I also don't want it to be too small. I did notice that the pieces in the back were thinner than the pieces in the front, which is why another thing I'm going to recommend, start in the back 
back before you do the front i'm just adding in the pieces of hair making sure to double check them making sure that the length is looking good and don't be scared to take pieces of hair off if you notice that it's too big or if you notice that you actually like the way that the hair is going just make sure that you go and take those hairs out when you need to and again we're just going to braid all the way down And I'm going to show you and tell you again what I do. So I'm just going to take that jam and I'm going to condition that jam into her hair. Then I'm going to section that piece of hair into three to get it ready for the braid. And then I'm going to start braiding. And then I'm going to add my first piece of hair. So I did, I braided a full cycle. What I like to do, I never add the hair continuously. I always wait until I get back to my favorite side, which I don't know if that's my right or my left. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, that's actually my right. So I'm right-handed so that's my favorite side and that is the only side that i add hair in unless otherwise noted ultimately the right side is my favorite i like to do you know half a cycle and then add hair and again don't feel uneasy removing hair or adding hair back in you just want to make sure that the length is the right size that it needs to be you want to make sure that it's the size that you want it to be and if you're doing this on your client then the size that your client wants it to be I'm going to do a twist. So if y'all saw in my inspiration video, she did a braid. But here I'm going to do a twist. My initial thought was, hey, I wanted to try to be as long as possible because I was going to try to do a braid. What I did was, I can't even explain to y'all what I did. And why did I think that was going to work? I don't know. And here's where I messed up. Y'all can see where I'm trying to pull the hair out. And then I said, well, maybe I can just pull it all the way out. Why did I do that? I don't know. So then I had this tangled mess that I had to untangle because we're going to be putting that into a twist. I actually got a little scared because I was like, oh my gosh, are we not going to have the hair? Because it was pretty tangled. And once I kind of got it a little bit detangled, I think I actually gave up. It was pretty tangled. But I said, we're doing twists, so it's not that bad. And then I had the idea of let's put gel on it. I went ahead and wrapped it onto the mannequin's hair. Y'all see the orange braid? Yeah, spirit girl. Don't be scared to add that color in that hair, all right? I also was running out of hair. That's why y'all got this orange hair. But don't tell nobody. <laughs> i think it worked out it's 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 pretty dope once i got that hair on there i am now going to start twisting it you have to be like really careful that's why i kind of wrapped it around the braid because the rubber band is a rubber band so it's pretty loose it'll be trying to twist too and i'm like no you girl you don't twist you stay as i'm twisting i'm wrapping it just makes the twisting easier and the wrapping easier wrap as you twist also with the twist i've been making sure that i added some gel on there as well just to give it that plump twist look and to keep it staying and keep it tight so i'm just gonna wrap it and i wrapped it about two to three times it was two but i think i did one more and then brought it to the top for you guys it is now officially at the top and again we're just going to twist down and we're just going to wrap as we go and then with this one just go ahead and wrap all the rest of it it's going to be tiny so it'll eventually add up to the thickness of the piece at the bottom and you're just going to loop it all the way in there's no need for bobby pins there's no need for glue um the hair is going to wrap itself like a bantu knot i'm going to show you guys how i get it like this you want to get the rubber band and you want to place it in the back of the braiding hair and then you want to loop the piece that's in the front that your thumb has with the piece that's in the back and then there you go i think this turned out so cute you guys you let me know down in the comments how do you think this look turned out what would you would have done different we do have to unravel the curls as i unravel the curls let me know down below in the comments will you be doing this style did you think it turned out cute what would you have changed what would you have done different what would you have kept let me know down below in the comments i also did rubber band the ends just to kind of make it a little bit easier so here i'm just taking the rubber bands out and untwisting the hair i honestly think the curls turned out so freaking beautiful you let me know down below what you think this is also good braiding hair because I didn't have to dip the braiding hair into the water. It was actually pretty loose. So that's actually a really good plus. We love braiding hair that's already dipped. Y'all, this style turned out so freaking pretty. I was not expecting it to be this cute. What in the world? This is pretty. You can even put this in a ponytail, but that would kind of defeat the purpose. But you can put it in a ponytail. Wow. I'm shocked. <laughs> I had to show my face. This came out so cute. Oh my God.
I thank you so much for making it to the end of this video let me know down below in the comments did you like this style because i love the way that it turned out make sure if you haven't already to hit that subscribe button on the screen or down below for more content like this and i really hope to catch you in the next video stay unique in christ deuces